What's up guys, it's Andrew with Diamond Graphics. So this week we have another Tesla in the shop. Um, we do a lot of Teslas. This one we're gonna do a little video on because it's a Plaid, which is their most expensive, fastest model they make right now. And this was a white one going matte black. So I kinda wanna highlight the how much difficult it is to wrap a white car versus a black car. Um, <clears throat> So if you want to see, for disassembly, I mean, we're going to be taking off this front license plate. Um, we're going to be removing possibly the tail lights. We don't have to take the door handles out or anything because they're like inside the door already. Uh, so it's not a huge amount of disassembly, but with a white car, every single seam, we have to go farther than we would if it was a black car, because if it's not 100% full coverage, the white's going to show through uh, quite a bit. So we also had this uh, Range Rover. Um, this was a gray car first and we're doing it in satin black. We're like 80-90% done with it but there was a we've done a bunch of Range Rovers but never this older model so there were some things that surprised us about it. I kind of highlight that for you. The main one being these door handles. So Alex is working on the door handles now most of the times when you have a car and you have a door handle, you can remove it. Um, so we removed the entire door handle piece from the car, and you would assume that we could take this piece out as well. But because of the way they put this together, there is a bolt with a head on either side. So we would literally have to drill that and then find some sort of, I don't know, another bolt to put it in. So we have to wrap it like this. So you can see he's working on it with the handle still attached to it. So this door handle, this one's wrapped, this one's not. You can see how good it looks, but the time it takes to do it, not being able to remove it is probably two or three times as long. So that was the, that was the most surprising thing on the Range Rover. Um, what else was kind of challenging? Um, so we're doing it satin black. Uh, we're buying a new grill. This is the old grill. We got a black one, a gloss black one coming in. We also have gloss black side vents going in. We're gonna be tinting the tail lights as well. So you can see, um, again, these door handle areas. With the new Range Rovers, we can literally just, it's a screw, the door handle pops off. For these ones, again, we have to do full disassembly of the door and then disassembly again of the door handle itself. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. That took a little bit longer than we thought. Um, yeah, think about that. I mean, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. There's no real other surprises. Um, so yeah. So we're wrapping this car in matte black. So satin black and matte black are some of the two most popular ones. Um, you can kind of see the difference. Here, let me move this one. So this is a fresh roll of, of matte black. And you can see it next to the satin black. You can see the difference. And every time you get a new roll of film, the first like foot is usually pretty trash. So we just cut that off right away. I just did that, trying to open it. <laughs> Whoops. As you, as you can see, the first foot, it actually doesn't look that bad, but we usually just cut the first foot off anyways. Cause they all have tape marks or they will have scrapes from like shipping and stuff like that. So with the mat, we just have to, uh, not get any like oils or stuff on it. So like wash our hands, don't overheat it. It scratches kind of easy, all that good stuff. I'm just wiping it down in case we had touched it with our hands that may have been a little greasy. Um, this matte film is very, very picky with what it wants you to do with it. And just so the streaks of the water drying on it doesn't look 
bad during the rest of the video, so. Because people will think that's, you know, scratches from the squeegee or something like that. So I'm just trying to get as clean as possible so they know we installed this the correct way. I just explained to him why I was wiping it down because Josiah eats a lot of greasy food and gets like shit all over the wraps. So for the mat wraps, you really need to wipe them down. Bro, you wash <laughs> your hands once a week. <laughs> and my water cup once a month. Twice a year. Why do you tape the car key to the window? So I lose a lot of keys. So this way, put some tape on it. I'm not gonna lose the key. Life hack. But I still lose them, so. So film Josiah's cut here to make him nervous. Don't film it. I, I saw him go like this. <laughs> So the last, last Tesla plaid we did, we wrapped it and the guy just got it and then he gave it to us and then we wrapped it and tinted it. And then he took it to a Bucks game and leaving the Bucks game, he had two broken windows and then he backed into someone. So he didn't even have it for a couple hours and we had to replace, well he had to replace two windows and then rewrap his back bumper, so. Bucks finals, Kind man. of interesting, yeah it was a Bucks finals so everybody was excited. What's up guys? So now we've had this Tesla for a day and this Range Rover for about a week. Uh, the Range Rover is fully done, wrapped in satin black. We tinted the taillights, new grills, gloss black, roofs gloss black, um, taillights, powder, taillights uh, tinted, not powder coated. So you can see um, it's a 2010 Range Rover, but we kind of brought it back to life. Again, like I said, the door handles were probably the biggest issue with this one that we've never had before. Uh, but it's kind of cool, a lot of people ask what's the difference between like satin and matte. Um, so we have a satin and we have a matte. So I want you to kind of see them both side by side. For me personally, I like the satin because it's easier to clean, uh, it doesn't scratch as much, and it looks a little bit more rich black, whereas the matte black looks a little gray sometimes. So since the Range Rover's done, we're about to do some more panels on this Tesla. All right, so for this Tesla, uh, we took the chrome off. Uh, we did knifeless all around the doors and up here. And uh, it's a relatively flat door, so that's not hard. But there's one little thing you have to make sure to do because these door handles come out of the door. So we locked the car and then we hid the key somewhere far away so I can't open it accidentally and ruin that piece of vinyl while I'm laying it. So I'm just gonna give it one final wipe. So I wanna start at the top because that mirror's here. And uh, a lot of times it can like throw dirt under it or yeah just basically this is the most like sketch part of the door so if I start it there it's not gonna leak any dirt onto the rest of the wrap and I can pretty much just work down from there so now we have uh, this door handle part I'm gonna get it out of the way right away in case I screw it up, I don't want to have to like have the rest of the door wrapped already and then have to pull it back up or anything like that. So I'm going to cut on the outside gap here. I'm cutting on the side of the door handle. So I have just a little bit extra amount of film that I can tuck behind it and then trim off the extra when needed. That seemed to work. 
And this is a matte film, so you can see all these little scratches I'm leaving just by like touching it basically. But the good thing is when the heat comes, like they go away. Or they should. What's up guys? So it's day two on this white Tesla. Uh, we have the doors, we did the uh, rocker panels. Um, so basically, since this is a white car, we have to make sure we can get full coverage. So we have to do knifeless a little bit farther than we would if it was a black car already. Uh, we're gonna be wrapping the bumper now. We've done a couple inlays. So we've done four inlays already. The first one being up here, the second one being here, and then we have two small ones, super small ones, probably can't even see them, right here, just so we don't have any white showing um, once we lay the main piece of film. What's up guys? So it is day, uh, like we had this car for about a week now. Um, just about finishing it up today. We're gonna wrap the back bumper. We did the fenders, we had the windows tinted. So yeah. All right, so what's happening? I got five on Alex. They're gonna arm wrestle. I don't know why, <laughs> but. What happens, happens. <laughs> All right, as soon as I let go, we're starting. One, two, three, two. All right, I'm gonna say three, two, one, and let go, and that's when y'all start. Okay. Ready? You're shaking. I'm not shaking, I just want him to cheat, bro. All right. <laughs> y'all are moving the frame. Three, two, one. Oh, that's five. He was using his arm and shit. Alex isn't even trying yet. <laughs> That's a, that's, that's a, a dog. That's, that's, a, that's a dog. That's a snap his arm. I got five. I had him shaking. I had you shaking. <laughs> he was all squeezing no, that. <laughs> he probably peeled off the edge of the. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. <laughs> that's good. I'm just here working while they're arm wrestling. <laughs> Today, uh, we just wanted to show you a quick DIY on how to do an oil change on a brand new Tesla. So we just got this Tesla Model Plaid, or Model S Plaid uh, into the shop. Brand new car, but we figured we'd show you how to do an oil change just in case you have one that you're not sure how to do it yourself. So we have um, five liters of liquid Molly uh, 5W40. So the first thing you do is you gotta open the trunk by hitting this button pop, turn on a nice light. Uh, so you got a couple plastic pieces you gotta remove. Got one. So now you have a look into the motor of the Tesla. Um, so you want to take your oil, you would open it, and normally you see this little filler valve right here? Yeah, you pretty much uh, take your oil and put it back in the cabinet because this is a Tesla, so you don't do an oil change on it. So just a little tip in case anybody wanted to know. So you can see the Tesla's all wrapped up. It took us about a week. Uh, this car was a little bit harder to do because it is white going to black. So every little seam everywhere has to be covered way more than it would if it was like a black car. So it probably took us 
you know, 50% longer to wrap this. But overall, it looks really cool. The matte black, we also had to make sure, wash our hands every time in between every panel, just so we don't get any grease or anything on it. We're gonna put a coating on it tomorrow, and it's gonna be shipped out. Uh, we had the windows tinted, we had the taillights tinted. So, just wanted to show you the final result. If you guys like it, feel free to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll send you some more Tesla videos in the future.